Hey there. It's been a while since I did a vinyl video of my vinyl collection. I'd like to start off with uh, some Acid Witch and Slash Dave stuff. Uh, if you haven't heard any Acid Witch stuff, it's uh, considerably considered uh, psychedelic occult doom metal. They also they, they capture that Halloween feeling, if you know what I mean. Obviously, if you heard of Acid Witch, you know what I mean. They, they, they totally catch up Halloween feeling in the spirit of the season. But uh, I'd like to start off with the Acid Witch's first album, Witch Town Hallucinations. This is the first press of Acid Witch, as you can tell by the logo, Master of Reality Worship. Witch green vinyl, as we call it, witch skin green vinyl, which is really cool. The cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see it, it says uh, burn, side burn, and you flip it out, <laughs> burn out. <laughs> so, like about S Witch. The S Witch uh, covers like their lyrical content covers like a satanic occult stuff and which obviously the drugs namely marijuana but this is the first one I like this one it's like a burning a sinner it's burning a pinner by Astridge it's uh it's pressed by the band so it's pretty cool stuff Pretty cool, but uh, let's carry on with the second album. <clears throat> second album of Acid Witch. Wait, I totally forgot about this one. Sorry about that. Uh, I got the Witch Tannic Hallucinations repress. The Hell's Headbangers. As you can tell, no, no it's a different logo. Same cover, a little different back, but also it's gatefold. This one's the picture disc edition. I got it as soon as it came out. Which is really cool. But the, the musical the musical side of the acid which is uh, it's pretty doomy. It's pretty doomy but it's not the it have many influences for us, which I read in some Slash Day interviews that he also includes like New Wave of British Heavy Metal and Sabbath, of course, which is a big notable thing. But they have touches of Sabbath, but they're totally unique. Very, very unique. It's not your typical Sabbath riff sounding, but it's also death metal. Not really so much death metal, it's just more guttural vocals, which is very suitable for Acid Witch. But here is uh, the second release, Stone. It's pretty cool, pretty cool cover, right? He's back. This is one of the first pressings of the uh, Acid Witch, I mean, the Stone of Acid Witch, as you can tell by the very Halloween y. It's orange and black and all the Halloween colors that are well needed. <laughs> but they totally capture that Halloween feel to every album. On this, on which I like about Stone, they... And some of the lyrics of the... Uh, like metal movie Marijuana Massacre Meltdown is sing a little bit. 80s, 80s metal movies like Trick or Treat, uh, Rocktober, Rocktober, Blood, and uh, what's this other movie called? I think it was called. Uh, I can't remember right now, but anyways, that, that's my Acid Witch collection. But I also got seven inches of Acid Witch. The only thing I'm missing is Witch House. 
is the uh, Acid Witch's uh, featured addition to Magic, Sex, and Gore. I wish I got the other one, the Midnight Mass edition, but I was pretty broke at the time, so I only could afford this. <laughs> but yeah, here's the, here's the vinyl itself, which is cool. Splattered, dual cover, uh, color, dual color vinyl, which is cool. That's what I like about uh, collecting vinyl. It's more satisfying because you got a you got the physical copy and it's got the, the visual content like the art. You can just listen to this seven inch and just stare at the artwork forever. That's what I like. That's the cool thing about collecting vinyl and physical copies of music. And uh, here's the latest uh, seven inches of that acid which they did a split with Nunslaughter. I happen to score both editions. The, it's a gatefold sandwich, which is cool. There's acid which none slaughter. Sorry about the reflection. <laughs> As you can tell how awesomely glossy the, the casing is. But the cool thing about this 7 inch is uh, it starts off with the typical acid witch sound and then They did really something different with this 7-inch. On side A, it's acid witch and then non-slaughter. It starts out with acid witch with the typical acid witch sounds and doomy feel, and then goes into song T, non-slaughter's song, and like non-slaughter does a doomy song, which is cool. And then side B starts off with another non-slaughter song again. And they got the typical non-slaughter devil metal sound to it, as they prefer they call their, their music devil metal. And then Acid Witch has a thrashy, fast song, which is really cool. Which is really different, but of course, the album Stone, they have D-beats in it too, they have quite a bit of fast songs on this. But this is uh, the tricolor edition of Spooky. side, which is cool stuff. I got this, uh, most of these Acid Witch stuff on Hell's Headbangers. Some of the stuff goes really fast. <laughs> really fast. But, I also mentioned I'm gonna include Slasher Dave's, uh, releases. This is synthesizer stuff, like John Carpenter worship, like, uh, movie scores. Horror, horror movie scores. This is uh, Sasha Dave's first album called Spook House. And it's really focused on John Carpenter stuff. So. But yeah, Sasha Dave. I got this this past year, this, this year, this past October. They just recently sold out of all the editions of, of this album on Belly Ache Records. On bellyacrecords.com. This is cool. Like if you like John Carpenter stuff, like The Fog, Halloween, and uh, notably Halloween Three: Season of the Witch, which is a really cool soundtrack. So he nails it. He nails that John Carpenter feel. This, this edition is the just the black vinyl edition. We came out with other editions which sold out really fast. And here's the spooky mask it comes with, which is really cool. <laughs> That's what I like about Slash Dave and Acid Witch stuff. You get all these other stuff. I forgot to mention the, the Acid Witch releases also comes with die cut decorations from the 70s and 80s, 60s. Which is really cool. So they like about Slash Dave's stuff. And here's uh, Slash Dave's newest album, Tomb of Four. This came out this year. On this one, he he focuses on uh, the '70s feel, like the Italian soundtrack feel of the album, which is really cool. 
like Burial Grounds, uh, movie soundtrack, uh, Zombie, that Italian movie called Zombie, aka The Flesh Eaters, and here's the back. It's on Billy Ake Records, this works up. But yeah, this one is totally awesome. I was quite satisfied when I first threw it on my turntable as soon as I got home. This one is on the Green Vinyl Edition. This one, the Green Vinyl sold out really fast. But yeah, Billy Ake Records is a pretty cool, pretty cool website. I highly recommend you to check it out. The guy that runs it is named Scott. He's a really cool guy. And uh, this one comes with another mask. This is uh, totally a burial grounds zombie worship mask. Flesh years in the 70s. Yeah, highly recommended stuff. Be sure to check it out. Slash it is. Ask the witch. If you haven't checked it out, then you're missing out. I really wish I had the uh, horrific stuff. That's another. Slash Dave project is horrific. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I, just, I like to speak more about the in-depth in-depth information about Acid Witch and Slash Dave, but I have more videos to come. And please leave a, uh, leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to. I got more, more vinyl coming. And I got more vinyls on order. So... I also got cassettes too, so I might probably cover my cassettes. But thanks for watching, and please share a story down below if you want, or any anything that you want. Just leave anything. <laughs> thanks.